So it's, uh, it's marvelous to be here tonight. Um, just to get you warmed up, I'm going to do some impressions. It's the first impression I'm going to do. I hope you enjoy it. <clears throat> I don't know who you are. I don't know what you want. So that was my grandfather, he has Alzheimer's. <laughs> Impression number two. <clears throat> Sometimes it makes me sad, though. I then I have to remind myself that some birds aren't meant to be caged. Their feathers are just too bright. So now, unemployed manager of pets at home. Wow, look, it's me, it's Christopher Walken. Wow, crazy. It's every person that's come up to me and say that they do impressions too. <laughs> so uh, my name is Charlie. I, uh, I used to work in a school. I was a, a maths teacher. Do we have anyone in tonight who also went to school? <laughs> Sure you've seen the news recently, uh, they're considering arming teachers with guns at the moment. As an ex-teacher, when I heard this news, it set me to a panic. I didn't realize that we weren't supposed to be armed before. <laughs> I don't know how well you know the British educational system, uh, but there's a lot of cuts going on at the moment. And as a result, I had to cover a number of subjects that I had zero proficiency to teach. Number one, sexual education with Sir David Attenborough. <laughs> new science and new technologies allow us to travel further and deeper <laughs> than ever before. The video was more graphic than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Another cover I had to do was uh, Year 9, Set 6 on a Friday afternoon. A poetry cover with a very rowdy boys class and I thought this would be a good time to introduce them to the Dead Poet Society with Robin Williams. Oh yes, come on in boys, gather round. Now don't read and write poetry because it's cute. We read and write poetry because we're members of the human race. The human race is filled with passion. In this class, you may refer to me as Mr. Keating, or if you're more daring, or Captain, my Captain. And what I learned very quickly is that what works in a fictional 1950s American prep school <laughs> doesn't necessarily translate directly to a very real Doncaster Comprehensive. <laughs> but I, str I struggled for authority in the classroom. Um, I was too soft on the children. I went home that Friday evening distraught and I watched the BBC series The Peaky Blinders for the first time with Tommy and Arthur Shelby. By the time I returned on Monday morning, I had a completely new attitude. <laughs> this place is under no management. You got yourself a detention by order of the Peaky Blinders. Arthur, the children are scared of you. That's why we're taking you off reception. <laughs> Outside, little Johnny Wisman in year two, demanding his homework on time. Now, lad, I thought of an appropriate punishment. We're gonna burn down your dad's pool. <laughs> To quote 15th century Italian political philosopher Niccolo Machiavelli, 
it is safer to be feared than it is to be loved. It's a quote that I'm saving for my wedding vows. <laughs> Only several romantic paragraphs about tax breaks. <laughs> so I, uh, I am an impressionist and I, uh, I was a teacher. What I'm going to do tonight is I'm going to teach you some impressions. Okay? So, I'm going to do the impression and then you're going to repeat it after me, just so we can, on the same wavelength, give me a cheer. Yay! Okay, repeat after me. You fuck you, you fuck off, fuck you, fuck off, you fuck you, fuck off. <laughs> Absolutely marvellous. <laughs> so that was every role that Tom Hardy's ever done. <laughs> Once again, uh, repeat after me. <laughs> Even better. So that was Bob Dylan <laughs> riding a moped. <laughs> and this final one. So that was just some noises. <laughs> Can't believe you went for that, to be honest with you. <clears throat> but I, uh, when I was at school, I was an odd child. I, uh, I didn't have many friends. I spent a lot of time on my own. I spent a lot of time reading Greek mythology. In fact, when I was very young, I was convinced that I was a centaur. <laughs> but a centaur who had the terrible affliction of being born with human legs. <laughs> now the other centaurs, they would laugh at me. They would call me names. They wouldn't let me join in any of their centaur games. <laughs> I, would, I would start by saying, could I possibly join in one of your centaur games? And they would reply by saying, <laughs> nay. Because <laughs> at this point I realized that uh, they were just horses that I was talking to. <laughs> Anyway, you've been quite wonderful. Thank you very much and good night. Yeah.